Southern Ontario is where I dwell. Born in Mississauga, I spent my early years on Columbus Avenue in what was then the poorer area of High Park in Toronto. We moved to the growing suburb of Brampton, near my grandparents when I was seven or so, where I misspent the rest of my youth in culverts and malls, the regular stuff. But I've lived the majority of my life in the small city I chose for myself, Guelph, Ontario. It's grown a lot over the years, but the old downtown with its two winding rivers and stone buildings still feels like something from a Stephen King novel. In fact, locations from the recent It films, like the quarry the kids jump into and the covered bridge, are less than a half hour's drive from where I live. And like the fictional dairy, Guelph has plenty of weird secrets lurking underneath it. From cryptid sightings to skeletons constantly being disinterred on Baker Street to Halloween fire pit murders and plenty of hauntings, this city is undeniably creepy. I recently illustrated a story about the strange death of Guelph's old undertaker with local historian David J. Knight, for example. The founder of Guelph himself, John Galt, wrote a gothic novel in 1825 called The Omen, which Mr. Knight has reprinted, pointing out in his foreword that Galt was a cousin of Edgar Allan Poe's. Gothic horror is in the veins of this place, apparently. I spend most of the days here drawing posters for my local pub, The Woolly, illustrating for Ontario microbreweries like Wellington and West Avenue Cidery, and making comics for the regional magazine Took, but I've been secretly dreaming up a new horror comic series called Dwellings, quite naturally inspired by the settings and secret histories of the area I dwell in. <laughs>